Hi everybody, we just made it back from Blade Show. We had an awesome time there. We had an amazing time meeting a bunch of you guys. Thank you so much for coming by our booth. Um, we wanted to make a video while we were there about all of the brand new releases that we have coming out this year uh, for the last half of the year. And we were just slammed the entire time. Didn't have a chance to do that. So we're back here in the Wii Studio and I'm gonna take you through all of the new uh, Wii products that we announced at the show and all of the new Civivi products. Guys, we were also able to go away with a really uh, neat award. Um, Civivi Knife was awarded the Best Buy of the Year award for the Civivi Elementum, so we were super excited about that. Um, I know that you guys are too, so we'll, uh, we'll get into all that and more in this video. Let's bring it in here close though right now, and I'm gonna give you a look at all of this brand new stuff. Okay guys, one thing to keep in mind, when we do these big releases at the show, uh, we show a lot of prototypes and items that are not going to be available for several months. All of the products that we're showing today will be available between basically July and December. It could possibly be pushed uh, until January, but for the most part, everything will be coming out uh, right um, at the end of this year. Um, now, this one is gonna be one of the first that is available. This is a new design uh, collaboration by Ostapel and Wee Knife. Um, this design right here is uh, actually not a prototype, so this one's gonna be coming out uh, pretty soon, within the next couple of months. This is a titanium frame lock uh, with a 20 CV blade, also on the blade, you've got some nice jimping on the top in a couple of different spots there, and a, a really beautiful long swedge that again adds to the style. You've got that typical Ostapel notch uh, cutout on the, the top there. And then one of the things that I really love about this knife is the G10 um, inlay here, how it wraps around um, the entire knife there, and almost gives it the feel of, a, of an integral on the back there. Um, not, not quite, but um, just a really, really nice design um, b that moves from the G10 right into the titanium on this guy. Um, some cutouts on the back for additional style. Um, the pocket clip on this is a really nice pocket clip as well. You can see that it uh, attaches off the back, so it is ambidextrous. It can be switched around to the other side, and it's got a, a glass breaker on the top right there. So. It's gonna be available in a couple of different colors. Um, the colors are, are to be announced, or will be announced when the actual knife is announced, but uh, keep an eye out for this one, this new arsenal from Ostop Hill. Um, Ostop also did another fun design with us. This is the Quark, which is a fun little piece of M390 and titanium in a carbon fiber magnetic sheath. This is a little neck knife um, with just enough blade on there to get you through some daily tasks and uh, keep things interesting. This little guy, it's, like I said, it's magnetic. It pops right up in there and is just uh, a beautiful piece of, of machinery or machi machining. Um, you get all your premium materials and this thing's gonna be right around 100 bucks. I don't have pricing on a lot of this stuff. As I said, it's all still, uh, most of it's in prototyping phases and not gonna be available for a while. But this one, I think the target's gonna be right around 100 bucks for that little guy. A little fun, fun piece. Next up, we have a, another collaboration with Todd Knife and Tool. Here we've got the Wii Roxy. Uh, sorry, Roxy 3. This guy has the cutout, uh, thumb cutout, so you can uh, use it with a, for a uh, thumb flick. You can also um, front flip this big blade. And this is titanium 20 CV as well, um, at least on the prototype, and I'm nearly positive that that's what we're going to use on the production version. Now, one of the things that I love about Todd Knife and Tool in their design is how much attention they, they give the, uh, the lock side of the knife. In fact, we did a little interview with Todd, um, or with Terrell, uh, Terrell Todd, um, at the show, so you get to see that, and he'll tell us a little bit more about this knife. Hey guys, here we are with Terrell with Todd Knife and Tool. Terrell's been uh, gracious enough to be helping us out all weekend long here at the Wii and Civivi booth, but we wanted to stop and talk to Terrell about this sick new design. Uh, we've got the Roxy 3. Um, awesome. Terrell, tell us a little bit about it. Well, the Roxy 3 has been a long time coming. It's one my brother and I, Seth, designed several years ago. Not me. No, <laughs> not you, man. <laughs> Seth Todd. Right. Not Seth Eckenbeck. I can't Close. pronounce your last name, man. Close. It's all right. But uh, we've had these designed for a while, and we're finally bringing them out to you guys 
about a three inch long blade, Roxy 3. And uh, as always, it is the Warncliffe that's a old box cutter on steroids. Uh, we put a little HGH in these, make them a little bigger than the original Roxy. And it is a front roller. And for those of you that like it, it will flip. Awesome. What's, uh, we've got a few different color options that are coming out. Well, so far, all I can confirm are the gray and the black. Okay, we got, so we got the gray and the black, and uh, what are we using on the steel, the blade steel? 20 CV, they really surprised me there. I was expecting S35. Mm -hmm. so, so we got the premium steel, we got titanium. Mm -hmm. um, I really love all of the intricate design, and just like, actually, I prefer the clip side of the knife. <laughs> we work hard on the clip side of the knife. <laughs> yeah. I mean, literally. It, I can tell, I can tell, because it just, it looks amazing. Every, everything just like flows together, yeah. works really well. Yeah, the fans say that they're retro futuristic. I'm not sure how that works, but yep. I'm all for it. Steampunkish? Steampunk, maybe. maybe. Yeah, maybe. yeah. All right. Well, this guy's going to be available in they, the next couple of months. Yeah, they tell me fall of this year. Yep. That really means just before January. Yep. <laughs> I, I haven't seen it uh, on the list yet to, for when it's going to be at dealers, but it will be soon, like you said, this fall. So right. we're excited to have this one. Um, oh, tell me one more, one more question I had. How is this different than the previous versions of the Roxy? Okay, the first version of the Roxy was two and a five eighths inch, two and five eighths inch blade, and it was a flipper only. Mm -hmm. Now we've put a hole in it so you can do all the uh, thumb flicks, all that kind of stuff. Still got the fuller in it. It's a, it's a half inch larger. Mm -hmm and it's got the roller lock on it. And yeah, we've cleaned up the design some, made it a little different. You know, as always, our backspacer is pretty intricate comparative awesome. to a lot of the guys out there. Yeah, we spend a lot of time on the knives in the places people don't normally look. Yeah. Uh, backspacers, lock sides, pocket clips. Yep, I love it. I love how the, like you mentioned, the intricate details in the backspacer, and then you've got these holes in the frame uh, right here in the spine or in the, in the uh, side of the frame. Yeah, the side of the frame. And then you've got that lanyard hole in the back that just kind yeah. of matches up and mates up with it all. Absolutely. So it, lo it looks really good. So we're looking just a little bit bigger and a little bit more fidgety. Oh than yeah, previous definitely Roxies. way more fidgety <laughs> than the previous Roxy's. The previous ones have been very much workhorse knives. Uh -huh. This one's kind of for fun. Gotcha. Well, hey, we're excited about the Roxy 3. Terrell, thanks for helping us out this weekend and thanks for this awesome design. Next up, we got a new collaboration, again, that I'm super excited about. I, c I get excited a lot um, about it. this is the stuff that we're doing. This is a new design that we teased a little bit right before the show. Um, it's a collaboration with Alan Elishowitz. And this is a new titanium frame lock, 20 CV, with G10 inlays, uh, a, a layered G10 to give us a, a, a dew-tone color. Um, I love the way the, we match the pivot collar um, with the G10 that's on here. Um, you can see a little bit better on this one that has the blue. And it's going to be available in two blade styles. This recurve tanto, which I absolutely love. And then this drop point that is just your ultimate, ultimate daily user. Uh, one thing that you're going to see um, that's different um, between these prototypes and the production version is the clip. The clip is going to be ambidextrous with um, cutouts on both sides, and it's going to come with an extra clip to make it left-handed friendly. At least that's the plan right now. So your clip design is going to change a little bit. Um, one of the things that I absolutely love about this knife is how your titanium backspacer here uh, comes out of the end of the knife there to give you that, uh, that striking... Um, tool, whatever you want to call that, <laughs> off the back of the knife there. Last up, we have a new accessory. This is a titanium ballpoint pen, a bolt action pen. We've integrated a spinner on top. And if you get in there close, you'll be able to see that there's a Wii logo in that little disc inside there. So a really fun, really fidgety pen. You're going to like this one. Okay, let's move on to Civivi. Um, first up, we're going to hit the new Justin Lundquist design, the Lumi. This is a fabulous front flipper, or top flipper. I, I think, I, think uh, I prefer the top flipper with this one since it's Justin's uh, typical style where you've got a, that piece just on the top right there, not really in the front of the knife. 
Um, but this little guy, whoop, tried to jump out of my hand. This little guy is a micarta, um, reversible clip, stainless steel liners. Um, the steel on this, I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be, but uh, this, this got a lot of attention at the show. People are pretty excited about this little guy. I'm guessing it'll probably be a Nitro V, um, but uh, that's to be, to be determined. So keep an eye out for the new Lumi from Justin Lundquist. Next up, a new collaboration with Dylan Mallory. Now this design was actually shown a long, long time ago, but this one just made it into the production schedule for this fall. So we're excited to be bringing the Hadros to production. And we talked with Dylan about the Hadros at the show as well. So um, I'm gonna let Dylan tell you a little bit more about this knife. All right, everybody, this is the last day of Blade show. Um, we had Dylan drop by today, and I wanted to have Dylan quickly give an introduction to the new Hadros that he's bringing out with Civivi Knife. Um, Dylan, tell us just a little bit about the new Hadros, your new design. So the, the Hadros is a, is a Warrencliffe design. It's designed after a dinosaur, like most of my designs are. So Hadros is short for Hadrosaurus. It is a, I think it's a 3.3 or 3.4 inch blade, and about a 4.4 inch handle or 4.3 inch handle. It is very lightweight, very awesome. I'm really excited for these to be released. This is awesome. This is this was first shown, I think, at Shot Show 2019, yes. if that's right. And people have been asking us about it like constantly. When's the Mallory coming out? When's the Mallory coming out? It's been a while, and it's been <laughs> a long process. And I'm I'm very happy that it debuted at at Blade Show, and I'm very very excited. Yeah, absolutely. So we had just a few of these samples on the on the uh, tables, and people have been crying to get them. So we sold most of them already. And uh, there's a couple that we had to hold back so that we can mm -hmm. show them to people today. But yeah. anyway. Dylan, we're really excited about the, the Hadros. I said Hadros, so there, there we either, go. Either, you know, if you like it, that's fine with me. Call it whatever you want. All right. Well, hey, thanks again for stopping by, and thanks for uh, making killer designs for us. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thank you, Seth. All right. Next up, we're adding some new SKUs to the Elementum family. Um, we've got the, a new Elementum, uh, four new SKUs, and they come in Tanto blades. So we've got a copper handle with uh, black, Tanto blade, brass with black Tanto, a brown micarta, and a brown matrix micarta. Um, these are these are kind of fun because uh, at the show we saw a lot of a lot of different kind of colors coming out of these micarta um, patterns in that. Um, really really beautiful look with these black blades. So um, Elementum now available in Tanto and brass brass and copper and micarta. All right, let's move to a new design from Jim O'Young. Guys, the, uh, the Synergy has been breeding, so we've, we've got a, a family of Synergies at this point. We have the original Synergy 2. We have the Mini Synergy that were both done under the Wii brand. And now we have the Synergy 3, which is a G10 Nitro V in the Civivi brand. Now, the Synergy 2 um, is known for the um, revolutionary titanium integral design. And this, this guy from Wii um, has been around for several years now. And the Mini Synergy came out last year as a smaller version of that. So we've got those two, and then we've got uh, the G10 version, which is not integral, but a uh, fabulous G10 design that follows the same styling as the original Synergies. Um, in about, the size comes in right in between the two. And uh, the color combinations for the Synergy 3 are still being determined, but there will be uh, probably uh, eight different SKUs to choose from. Uh, when you're looking at the color of the handle and the style of the blade. So we're going to have a Tanto and an upswept Persian style as well, just like the previous versions of the Synergy. So, another great design from Jim O'Young. We're excited to have the, the Synergy available now in the Civivi brand. We'll make some room on the table here. We've got some fixed blades to show you. The first one is another Ostapel design. It's a mini fixed blade with a kydex sheath 
giving you just enough blade for your daily tasks. Um, a little bead attached to this guy and a belt clip on the sheath. So we've done a bunch of stuff with OSTAP um, this go around, which is really fun, really exciting um, to get these, all of these collaborations out. Um, this little guy is gonna be available fairly soon. Um, again, I don't have dates on all the stuff, but uh, expect to see all this stuff coming this fall. All right, moving on to a more traditional sized fixed blade, we have the Tamashi from Bob Terzuola. This guy, this is a prototype as well. Again, later it'll be available later this year, but an extremely functional fixed blade um, design from Bob. And Bob met up with us in the show. I'm gonna let Bob tell you a little bit more about this fixed blade here. Bob, you've got a couple of really unique, really cool designs coming out with us. We're excited for these yep. collaborations. Will you tell us about what you're doing with us? Okay, first one is a uh, fixed blade knife. They call it the Tamashi. Tamashi in Japanese means the soul of the warrior. And this is based on a knife that I did many years ago when I was, lived in Guatemala. Uh, it's got a swept up Japanese design blade and kind of a nice flowing handle. We is doing a beautiful job in the construction and the presentation, not only of the knife, but in the Kydex sheath. Uh, I was one of the inventors of the Kydex sheath many years ago in 1982. And on the back of the sheath, they're also using my um, T-clip, which is a removable clip to be used on belts, clamshell. I really like the way that this clips onto like my backpack and that kind of a thing too. You don't have to take it off or take your belt off. It just snaps into place. That's Works what, really that's well. That's what it was intended for. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um, it's being used on holsters as well as um, Civivi knives, Wii knives, uh, their Kydex sheaths. They did a beautiful job reproducing this. I hold a patent on this. So this is a gorgeous knife. I'm really proud of it. Um, Wii has done a spectacular job as they've done on basically all the knives I've had made for them. And we've had a lot of great feedback at the show um, on this knife. The blade's just, uh, four, just over four inches mm -hmm. um, and we're, we're hearing a lot of people say, gosh, it looks like it looks like a Trezuola knife, and it looks like you something know that would come out of his it factory. It is, yeah, it, as a matter of fact. exactly what it is. <laughs> so, uh, great feedback there. Now, great. what do we have here? We have here my tweezers. These are splinter tweezers. We're calling them tack and tweez, tactical tweezers. Got a little locking wheel at the top, and the tweezers come out and lock, and they have a very sharp point a very strong point for closing down, specifically on splinters and very small particles that get caught in the skin. This is the type of tool that every toolbox should have and it should be on every workbench. Uh, they have a point. Can you see the, can you put my hand behind it so you can see the contrast? I have a reinforced point most tweezers, when they close and you put pressure on them, tend to open up at the point as you put pressure in the back. These tweezers, because of the angles, when you put pressure on them, the points close even tighter. So you can dig, grab, and pull out even the tiniest little splinter, which could be extremely annoying. And uh, these are under the Civivi name, I yep. understand. Yeah, that's right. And they're doing a beautiful job on these, and they should be coming out in a couple of months, I guess. They will. Might They'll be available at dealers and on our website in a couple of months. Okay. They They've got a little leather case. A stainless steel tweezer with a brass case. Um, beautifully done. It's kind of like kind of that antiqued look to it yeah, in, the, in the bronze, which yeah. is just beautiful. One more little accessory that I wanted to show you guys that I, I don't have a lot of information about. In fact, I don't have any information about this one because uh, it uh, I saw it for the first time at the show and then the little info card disappeared very quickly after. Um, but it's a little vial with a reversible Torx bit inside to maintain your knife. So you can pull that out, sw switch it around. Um, it's got the T8 and T6 sized 
Torx bits on there. So a little, just a little maintenance tool. Um, this will be coming out a little bit later this year and we'll get you more information on it when it is closer to the release date. Last up and definitely not least, we have the new button locks from Civivi. We have the Altus, which is a thumb stud button lock. Uh, very similar to uh, the, the style of the brazen that was just released. Um, it's been a hugely popular knife, the brazen has, but this is just a little bit smaller than the brazen and we get a button lock on there, um, which is fantastic action on these things. Um, you guys have got to get your hands on these and you've got to try them out. Um, G10 stainless steel uh, liners, deep carry pocket clip, uh, lanyard post in the back there. And uh, these prototypes are D2 steel, but I do not know if that will be the final production steel on these. Um, you're gonna wanna try these out. The Cogent is the other one that we have, a little bit bigger, and a flipper. Awesome flipper action. Uh, one of the cool things about this is the, is the way that that flipper just disappears um, actually in the top of the knife. It's just enough flipper to get a hold of it with your finger um, and give you a reliable uh, release there, but uh, it kind of hides away. So a lot of people were really digging this knife at the show. Um, it'll be available again later this year. And this one features all the same features as the Altus um, with your deep carry pocket clip, your lanyard post, your stainless steel skeletonized liners. Um, it is a flipper instead of a thumb stud. These both really received a ton of attention at the show. Um, you can see that the button styles are just a little bit different on these. There's a cutout in the G10 um, to help to minimize the risk of accidentally pushing that button. Um, the cogent here has a recessed or concave um, button and the Altus has a rounded button. And they both have a little bit of a milling pattern inside them. Um, the attention to detail on these CVVs um, is just awesome. So. These guys, again, coming out later this year. Keep an eye out for these. And uh, you're gonna really enjoy the action on these things. Um, the drop shut action when you push that button and then the way that they fire out with either the thumb stud or the flipper tab. Um, it's a fantastic knife. You're gonna really like these. Okay guys, that is all of the new stuff that we revealed at Blade Show this year with the exception of one knife uh, that uh, I know some of you guys came here probably specifically to see the new Ben Peterson designed baby banter. Uh, unfortunately, we had a prototype at the show and it ended up walking away. So I don't have one to show you, but I promise you we're gonna bring Ben over to the studio and I know that he's got a prototype or two with him and we'll get him to show you guys the uh, new prototype in person. Thanks for watching. I know that's a lot of new stuff. We're really excited about it. I hope you are too. Um, stay tuned for individual product videos as we actually announce the release dates for these through the rest of the year. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.